Yo, what's up guys? We got Poke Gamer here today. We have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl moveset video guide on how to use Infernape. I absolutely love this Pokemon in Gen 4 and I'm happy that we have a chance to use it again. If you guys have liked any of my content in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or also look forward to other movesets, Showdown Lives where I feature the Pokemon and also Wi-Fi battles hopefully coming by the end of this week. Feel free to subscribe, I'm on my way to 300k, and leaving a like does help me out. So let's get right into Inferno. I do want to note that any set that has Mach Punch on this whole video, you can uh, change between uh, uh, the ability Blaze or Iron Fist. It just really is personal preference. I like Flare Blitz getting me down to my Blaze range and then doing an insane amount of damage with Flare Blitz versus Mach Punch's Iron Fist being stronger versus certain Pokemon. So it's really up to you. But the first set we have is probably my favorite set with Infernape, and that is Choice Band. The big thing that Infernape has over Blaziken is its initial speed tier, which is faster than Garchomp, and also Mach Punch, which is relatively nice for being able to pick off Weavile, or like a Weakened Breloom, or a Swords Dance Boosted Scizor, that's at about 20% or so. So it's just like really nice because it's actually really key in taking out Pokemon. So the moveset is Close Combat. Flare Blitz, U-Turn, and Mach Punch. I think that you should always be running Mach Punch on Choice Band. Yeah, Stone Edge can work here as a means of dealing with Gyarados or Dragonite that's been weakened. Both of them need to be actually a little bit weakened. Uh, Dragonite specifically because it has multi-scale, but you typically use U-Turn when you know that your opponent's going to bring out something. Like, if I bring out Infernate versus a Scizor, Scizor is more than likely going to switch out. So I go for U-Turn as they bring out Starmie or Dragonite or Gyarados. They take some Chip, and then I bring out another Pokemon that could deal with them. So it just gets momentum that way. You always want to go Jolly Nature. I think Infernape will always go plus speed natures, like basically almost always, unless you're running like a defensive Infernape. But we're not at that point in the metagame where you want to run like Slack off Infernape with will o -Wisp for... Weaviles and, and Scissors. We're not at that point, right? So that's when the metagame more develops. We yeah, got Jolly Nature, Max Speed, Max Attack, Four Special Defense. And again, your ability can be Blaze or Mach Punch. In this ish, uh, like instance, I like when I can come in on Stealth Rock and Hazards and Infernape wears itself down with its own move Flare Blitz. So once I put myself in Blaze, I'm dealing with Pokemon that resist it. Like I'm KOing Cluffs from uh, full, right? With a Blaze boosted uh, Flare Blitz. From the choice band is set so it really is personal preference but if you want that mock punch to be stronger iron fist is the way to go one day hopefully they'll make iron fist boost close combat i really wish but yeah using this for momentum getting in and just doing as much damage as possible with choice band and fern ape it's such a great pokemon it pairs well with um bulky waters like suicune or starmy uh, that could take on water type attacks coming at it, and it also pairs well with ground types like Gliscor, which have access to U-turn, which let Infernape come in. Rotom Wash is a good partner too, because it's Volt Switch and lets Infernape come in a lot easier. And also just steel types like Scizor or even something like Tyrantar that can deal with Latios and Latios respectively, uh, because that's something that does threaten Infernape and it does outspeed it. Next set we have is the Choice Scarf Ape, and this is, I think. I think the only Charge Scarf apes right now should be physically based, and by that I mean that, you know, if you're if you're specially based ape, that means you're running like Fire Blast and Flame Thrower versus Flare Blitz and Fire Punch, right? Which is physically based. I think they should all be physically based right now, just because there's no hidden power in the game, unfortunately. Well, there is, but Infernape doesn't get it right now. Uh, only I think Unknown and maybe Smeargle uh, get it currently. So maybe with Pokemon Home that changes, right? that uh, you can actually bring an Infernape from a previous generation with Hidden Power and it lets you use it. But right now, because Infernape cannot run Hidden Power Ice to check a plus one Gyarados, to check a Scarf Garchomp, to uh, smash like Gliscor, I think they should all be physically based choice Scarf. So the set is Close Combat, Flare Blitz, and U-Turn. And then your last move is either Thunder Punch or Stone Edge. It's up to you. Thunder Punch allows you to check Gyarados at plus one. If they go for Dragon Lance, uh, you can you know deal with them via the Thunder Punch. Stone Edge also deals with Gyarados. Of course, it does risk missing, and it's not as strong as Thunder Punch is since Thunder Punch is four times effective versus the two times effective, but Stone Edge also allows you to deal with Dragonite in the same move. So it really is up to you. For the most part, Infernape is going to come in and revenge kill. You, your Pokemon dies. You're going to bring out Infernape and knock out one of their Pokemon with Infernape as well, or you turn around just to get some momentum. It's good versus leads, and it's good to clean up late game. Love ape. The next set we have is a uh, especially based uh, mixed Infernape. So Infernape has a great move pool, right? It has a really good move pool. It has Grass Knot, which is amazing for dealing with Quagsire, for dealing with Swampert, 
for dealing with Suicune, for dealing with Starmie, right? You knock out three of those four Pokemon, Grass Knot. Not Suicune, but you do two at KO Suicune. So especially base mix eight basically runs Naive Nature. I think Naive is always going to be the... You can run Hasty, but I think Naive is always the better one because there's Scizor's Bullet Punch running around. There's uh, Braylon's Mock Punch. There's Dragonite's Extreme Speed. So why weaken your physically defensive... Uh, or your physical defense, excuse me, before, and I apologize, by the way, like, my nose is stuffy, I mean, you can tell, if anybody's been stuffy, you can tell it's stuffy, so I apologize, but, why weaken your physical defense even more, and, you know, make it easier for them to KO you, even though Life Orb's doing the same thing, but, with the Life Orb, your Grass Knot is dealing with, uh, Swampert, you knock out physically, uh, defensive Swampert in one hit, Quagsire, obviously, your Fire Blast is 2 at KO and Gliscor, that's the very important one, as well, Gliscor gets 2 at KO by Life Orb Fire Blast, and then uh, Close Combat is there to deal with Blissey, deal with Heatran, which otherwise will all the rest of your set. And then you have U-Turn for Momentum, and that's nice because if they're going to go out into Latios, which is one of the few Pokemon, or Latios, one of the few Pokemon that resist all the other moves that Infernive goes for, the Fire, the Grass, and the Fighting, uh, U-Turn does a really nice chunk. Uh, it does about 50-60% to Latios, and you're doing a good chunk to Latios as well. So... It's nice, but especially based the the main thing behind this is to to a KO Glide score. Again, if it had hit a power ice, it would be using hit a power ice on the set over U turn. You just be close combat, grass not fire blast, and hit a power ice. That would be your set. But uh, yeah, the main thing is just to be able to a KO Glide score fire blast and also um, just do some massive damage. Be a mixed wall breaker. The next set we have, I should probably do the physically. Let me do the let me do the physically based uh, mix ape next. So. The next set we have is the physically based mixtape, and this is uh, basically, you know, it's the opposite of the other one, right? You want your close combats to be stronger, but you don't want to be locked in a close combat. That's when you use physically based uh, life form mixtape. So still naive nature, and what you end up doing here is you um, you basically are going to be clicking uh, close combat and stone edge most of the time. Uh, stone edge is there for again the Gyarados and Dragonite. You don't want to let them come in uh, on this set. Again, because it does have Mach Punch on the set as an option, uh, you can run Iron Fist for it if you really want to. Overheat is your special move because it doesn't have any special attack investment, right? It only has four special attack investments, so Overheat's just a stronger move that doesn't miss as often as Fire Blast and can still, you know, obviously pick off those Pokemon weak to fire, like Breloom, like obviously Scizor is dying, or maybe like a 45% a Glide score, right? If it's physically offensive, 45% Glide score. If it comes in and it's, it's like at 70%, it takes the Life Orb Close Combat, then dies to Overheat after if it's not fully special defensive. But, and then your last move is either Mach Punch. Again, you could run Blaze or you could run Iron Fist on this one or U-Turn. U-Turn just for that momentum. I just I like Mach Punch again because it's nice for just picking off uh, Weavile from full or just those you know weaker uh, Pokemon. And Life Orb Close Combat's really nice because you know, you're know you 2 and KOing things like Manaphy. You're, you're doing like 70-80% to Kingdra, which is insane. So you're doing some massive damage. But if you do run U-Turn, it allows you to hit... Uh, Latios and Latias, as well as Starry, harder. So, the next set we have here is Nasty Plot Infernape. I love Nasty Plot Infernape. This is like the set where all your moves can miss. <laughs> that's that's what Nasty Plot Infernape basically is. Uh, it was really nice uh, back in Gen 4, earlier Gen 4. I liked Nasty Plot Infernape. Like, like, not earlier, but like during Platinum, I liked a Nasty Plot. I don't like it as much during updated Gen 4. And obviously, you know, fast forward as well to BDSP OU. Um, it's okay, uh, but you do have to worry about Latios and Latios and Dragon types in general. But the thing about this set is, and you definitely run Blaze and you run Timid Nature, Max Special Attack, Max Speed with a Life Orb, is that even with just Special Attacks, you can do so much damage to Resistances. Like, at plus, if you ever get to get plus four with this Pokemon, uh, like you're knocking out Resistances with your Fire Blast and Focus Blast. So, uh, it's Nasty Plot Fire Blast. I say Nasty Plot Fire Blast because that's going to allow you to deal with uh, Special Defensive Gliscor, whereas Flamethrower, you can actually live. But if you're Nasty Plot Plus Fire Blast, you're cooking that boy. Uh, you got Focus Blast there, obviously. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, if... If you don't opt for the Grass Knot route, you opt for Vacuum Wave because you want to be able to deal with Weavile and you want to have some sort of priority versus Pokemon. Then Focus Blast is cool because Focus Blast, like Oko's physically defensive Swamp Bird at plus two, so it's pretty crazy. But obviously you do have Grass Knot there, and if you Nasty Plot and Grass Knot up, you're knocking out Suicune, you're knocking out Quagsire, you're knocking out Gashadon, you're knocking out Starmie. Uh, I believe Gyarados after Stealth Rock actually dies to a plus two Life Orb a Grass Knot as well. Now, the... Um, the thing about this set is, obviously, it misses out on Z-Moves now because there are no more Z-Moves, but 
if and it misses a lot too, but if you can land your attacks, man, if you can land your attacks, this set can be really nice. It can be deadly. It can be extremely uh, deadly. But uh, yeah, so actually, uh, yeah, yeah. So plus two life orb grass now does eighty seven to one hundred three percent to Gyarados. So just like after stealth, that's a after stealth, I can even leftovers. That's a guaranteed kill. So that's really nice for this Pokemon. And then the last set we have for Infernape is, you know, we showed the nasty plots. So now we got to show the uh, show the swords in. So swords as Infernape can be a late game a sweeper with uh, the Iron Fist ability. Iron Fist is usually preferred on this, especially if you are running Mock Punch. You can run the set without Mock Punch, and to be honest, you can run Fire Punch or Flare Blitz as the last move. I'll talk about the merits of both, right? So swords as close combat. Close combat is basically always going to be on Infernape unless it's nasty plot. It's always going to be on inferno no matter what uh, because that's your 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 best move right there's no drawback besides your defense dropping but it's not like you have good defenses anyway and it doesn't miss so that's important uh your next move is going to be either stone edge or mock punch stone edge i already talked about what it hits before dragonite gyarados togekiss uh, mock punch again having that priority so you can't be revenge killed as easily right your last move is either fire punch especially because you have you know you have iron fist there or flare blitz now Fire Punch means you don't take recoil by going for it. It is boosted by Iron Fist, as is Mock Punch. So it is a decently strong move. However, Flare Blitz is still stronger. And the thing about Flare Blitz with plus two and a life orb is you destroy max HP Glide score. So like it dies from full. So that's something that Fire Punch fails to do. So that's really like the trade-off of that. Do you want that or do you not want that? Right? But of course, at the same time, if you sword his dance, right? There's no way Inferno gets an SD for free. Usually you're taking at least hazards or whatever attack. Even if it's a weaker attack, and Inferno doesn't have the best defenses. So you have to really decide if you want to be knocking yourself out, if you want to be knocking out Pokemon, or at the same time, right? Or if you just want to do, you know, a little bit of damage and let something else clean up. So it's really up to you. But those are all the ways that I think you can use Inferno. They are, uh, it does learn Stealth Rock. So um, it doesn't have Endeavor currently, and like a Stealth Rock Endeavor Elite was something that used to run Encores. It could be cool too. Uh, Slack off is an option as well, but I don't think that slack off is as necessary right now. Like I said, the, the it's not like the metagame hasn't like settled to a point where, oh yeah, SD Scissor is such a problem. Let me run uh, Defensive Ape, which was something that people ran for Weavile as well as Scizor because uh, they could deal with it with leftovers and slack off. But yeah, Stealth Rock on like an offensive set, if you're just three attacks life for, but you just want to put Stealth Rock kind of similar to how Mammal Swine sometimes use Stealth Rock when it's already had Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and Earthquake, that is an option. Uh, I don't think lead in front of is as good anymore, again, without Endeavor. Uh, and I don't think that um, most of the other sets don't have too, too much merit. But uh, Taunt is something you could also try as well. But that's all I got for y'all today. Hope you guys have fun using Inferno. Try out the Choice Man set, man. It's so satisfying, man. It's so good, too. I'll see you guys in a video later today where I show off both Choice Scarf and Choice Man Inferno. And both of them put in so much work. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, if you want to pick up Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I do have a Best Buy affiliate link down below if you want to support the channel. Feel free to use my link. Or if you want to pre-order Pokemon Legends Arches as well, just get anything from Best Buy. You support me. I'll see you guys. Peace.